Congratulations, you helped Texas become just the third program in women's tennis history to win back-to-back -back national championships. What was harder, winning the first one or the second? Um, as I look back on it, without question, this past year, and the second one was much harder. What's not lost on me is that it's incredibly hard to win. When I look back on the season that we had, the fall semester, we had four of our eight players physically unable to do anything, whether it was a broken ankle or a stress fracture and in a boot. So there was not only no work being done, there was no team. Uh, we'd have days where there were two and three kids at practice. It was woeful. In January, the relative health of the team was certainly better than the fall. We had most, not all of the scholarship players available, but the juju of the team was just calling it as it is, not good. Um, we got beaten up really badly in the early season um, on the back of not being fully healthy, but also I didn't feel like we had everyone rowing in the same direction. As the spring developed, I, I started to see more of a real team and you know, with a month to go, I think there was a bit of an inflection point where the team really came together and as they say in the classics, the rest is history. Texas does it. They're your 2022 Big 12 tournament title champion. Peyton Stearns, a first player in Texas history to win the national championship women's tennis singles. She announced she is moving on. What does she mean to you? Um, uh, you know, Peyton has been a coach's dream. Um, she's uh, an exceptional student in the classroom, but also on the court. She's eager to learn. She has the self-belief, which is hard to teach, <laughs> that component. Um, from day one, she was intent on being a champion and having our team be a champion. Just everything that a coach could dream about, Peyton has checked that box at two years in college, two national titles with her team, ends up as the NCAA singles champions. So proud of Peyton. Anyone with a pulse has got to be reaching for Peyton in the pros. Another key player for you was Sabina Zanilova, and, and tennis was the least of her worries throughout the year. Her family back in the Ukraine when they get invaded by Russia, Take me through the all the ups and downs she must have dealt with and the team trying to rally around her dealt with as well. The contribution from a freshman from Kiev, Ukraine, uh, it, it can't be punctuated enough what an amazing and formidable person uh, Sabina is. She came here in the fall, plays in the US Open in September and breaks her ankle in her first match. So as a freshman, she didn't compete, didn't do anything in the fall, goes home, comes back and on the Stanford trip, um, the war breaks out. And so, you know, I, 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 I'm a seasoned person, I'm 50 years old. I don't know that I would have been able to execute my job under those situations. The level of distress, uh, I, I can empathize, but I, I can't know what Sabina went through. The thing that anyone who's a Longhorn should know about her is that all she did was go 26 and one. To have that amount of distress and worry for the basic stuff, the health and safety of your family um, and your friends, am I ever gonna get to go home? Sabina, from a psychological perspective, was able to sort of take that distress and just hold it in a healthy container and then come to the tennis court as, as a champion. And we have a resourceful group. They made ribbons and I know we played Cal the next day at Berkeley and everyone wore a Ukrainian ribbon. From my perspective, um, some of her teammates really just were instrumental, but the degree to which they supported their teammate contributed to this. What was the state of the program like when you arrived here and what did you feel like you needed to do to get things kind of turned around? When I was hired, it really was a low point for Texas tennis. Pennick Allison Tennis Center had just been knocked down in the service of building the Dell Hospital and there wasn't yet a home for Texas tennis. The team that I inherited had not made the NCAA tournament, which is for Texas a low bar. The first year we still had Brianna Addison and Brianna helped us. We actually made the Sweet 16, which was a Herculean uh, effort. But I think the first big step in moving the program forward was the inclusion of uh, Anna and Bianca Tarati, twins from Barzano, Italy. It was a little analogous to passing healthcare to get the twins over here. Um, but they came and they turned out to be stellar people. 
great students, but they wanted a clip that was incredible, and that really sort of started to set the trajectory for the program. We started to win the Big 12, we started to appear in the top 10 in the rankings. On their backs, our program was an established top 10 program. We were able to get some of the really, really top American talent which were the five freshmen who played for us and won it last year. With the inclusion of those top American players uh, sort of pushed us over the edge. And so I'd point to Sturms, of course, and the Taradis who really got things started in Austin for us.